sorry I cannot help you. I hope that everything will be better soon. In the wake of terror, many across America are expressing sympathy for those in France. Good evening and welcome to News 10 at 6. A violent night of attacks in Paris, France took more than 100 innocent lives. Now, one group of Wabash Valley students spent the day making sure those in France know they are not alone. News 10's Lindsay Yates has that story in tonight's top story. From one Paris to another. I am sorry that we all have to grow up in this world of violence and anger. Trying to find the words when words don't even begin to describe. My prayers are with everyone in your city, and I, we are all supporting you here in the United States. Words of support from half a world away. But these eighth grade students at Crestwood Elementary School feel a certain connection to those affected by Friday's attacks. We're from Paris, and so are they. And I also wrote that in my letter, that we are also from Paris. Different city, same name, a small commonality that has many realizing this could have happened to them. I felt horrible for them because I didn't see anything they had done wrong. The violence is also providing educators with an opportunity. And that's part of what we do in junior high is teach students empathy and concern and care for others and this is I think a perfect way to do that. And students hope the kind words will boost spirits. I hope they feel really good when they get the letters from us because I know it's a very hard time for them. I hope they appreciate what we've done and I hope that they feel know that we care. Proving that no matter what country or city you live in. I hope nothing like this ever happens again either here there or anywhere. We stand united. I hope you can find light in this time of darkness. I hope that one day we can live in a world of harmony and love. In Paris, Illinois, with photojournalist Marty Ledbetter. We hope that everything will be better soon and that you will be okay. Lindsay Yates, News 10. The school plans to mail the letters by the end of the week. Some students are also hoping to gain a pen pal.